Yo, what's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Hippo. Yes, I'm that Hippo kid. If you don't know who he is, look him up on Twitch. Link in the description. I'll make the search way easy for you. And welcome to a strange video. I always make um, gaming content, if not highlights, or just simply anything. Today, I'm going to try and do something a little bit different and try and help you guys. Today, for the new year, even though it's a tad bit late, I am going to try and teach you how to work with Streamlabs OBS. <gasps> oh my lord, you get to Streamlabs with OBS? Holy crap, that's so cool. Now, there is going to be some exceptions. I'm now going to be teaching you guys how to set up an Elgato or any capture card that you have currently plugged in. Now, if you do want a brief setup on how to get the capture card set up, like how to you know work it and such, let me know in the comment section below. I'll heart it, pin it, or whatever, just to confirm that yes, I will make that as a future video. So with that out of the way, let's go ahead and jump in. Woo! Okay, so the first thing you want to actually do, and trust me, this will help you way later in the future, make an account. Now, if you're new to Streamlabs OBS, um, there should be a sign-in when you log in. But if you already have Streamlabs, then go ahead and log in. Now, I'm not going to really go further into that because it literally tells you what to do. But what I will tell you is that as soon as you're logged in and all that, come back over here and download Streamlabs OBS. Now, it'll pop up right here as an EXE file. Uh, let me just go and somehow get with the program. I'm going to have to cancel this because I already have it. Duh. And what you want to do is that as soon as it downloads, what you want to do is simply open it. Now you can put the now you can paste the exe on your desktop. You can have it stuck to your downloads. Open it, go through the applications, um, sign in and some stuff. And don't worry, you won't get a computer virus. Okay, you, you're not gonna get raided by some weird blonde kid by the name of Jaquise or whatever. I don't know. Just some you you won't be, you won't get yourself into trouble. So you'll be completely fine. And if you do get in trouble, then that's a skill issue. And when you do, open it. When you do, you'll be brought up to this page. Now for you, it will be an empty canvas. And it'll also give you a couple of listings of, hey, uh, what platform you stream on? What, what's, your, uh, what's your name? What do you want to go by as? Um, and one that will be um, crucial is, what template do you want to use? Now, for this sake, you can use whatever template you want. If not, if you want to look up a template, go to Essentials, all right, this tab right here. And again, if you haven't logged in already, this will really help you out. And what you want to do is go to Themes and Overlays. Once you do, you'll be dragged into like the little store where you can interact and try and, well, install a bunch of widgets, whether it's animated or static, aka images. Now, I will say, if you're going to use an animated theme, it will take more off of your P or off of your streaming computer or whatever you're streaming on, and it will cause some lag. If not, it will cause some frames to be lost. So I just recommend going with a static. Now, if you see ones with a certain symbol like this right here, um, even if you like hover over, it'll tell you that you need to install something called Ultra, which is basically a subscription. Now you don't have to own one. You can go ahead and look up, if not find ones for free. In fact, Streamlabs will actually give you a couple of most popular, if not recommended, free um, templates you can use. And in this case, I'm going to be using the, I'm going to be using my own um, template, Uplink or Uplink, and a bit of a mix of Talon. Now, again, if you want to find more, there you can look them up online. There's a lot of templates, even custom templates. Just find what you want to work with, and if you find one you want to use, go ahead and install it. Make sure you check and everything what they have, and well, your cameras will be free. All right, so we got so we got to get a, a couple of stuff. The first one we're going to try to work off with is obviously what is that you want to stream. So it doesn't matter if you're streaming off of Xbox, or you're going to stream a PlayStation, Switch. Um, mobile if you if you're able to do that this is what I'm, this is what I'm gonna be here for so all right let's go ahead and get Elgato so go to sources click the plus go to video capture device and click on add source now I already have mine equipped so I'm just gonna try and work it from there 
So, it will give you um, settings. Now, there is a webcam, but we will focus on that later. But let's all go in and focus on Elgato. See whatever your capture card is. For me, it's Elgato. Equip it, close, and with that, you should have your Elgato hooked up. Now, what if you want to stream my PC game? What if you already have a game that ha or what if you have a platform that's using the Elgato and it's not a PC game, but you want to do like reaction videos or play PC games and stream or even record? Well, there's multiple methods and I'm going to share one of them that I use. Now, if you do have another method, you go, you go ahead and use that method. I'm going to go ahead and share mine. So, for this one, go to sources, click the plus, and then there should be two settings we can grab. You want to click display capture, which will capture the primary or the secondary monitor and audio output capture, which captures your desktop audio. Once you do that, um, go ahead and monitor to the settings for the for the monitor. Make sure I put it on automatic so it can capture what's best and perfect. And then make sure the display is what you want to obviously display or stream. So if everything's on the first monitor, display the first monitor. If everything's on the second monitor, display on the second monitor and much, much more and vice versa. This is where we're going to try and work on Mixer. Now, unlike the streaming platform, what Mixer is, is a audio capturing, like, I guess, panel. In this case, we can also go ahead and work on another audio, which is the mic. How, if you want to make a commentary to people, or even like share funny moments, or just flat out interact with your people, go ahead and click on source it, or go to sources, click the plus, and go to audio input capture. Now, I know you can use a headset with a mic, but I do know that you can use either a built-in microphone, which is, I'm, pretty, I'm just going to say right now, probably the worst idea, and then USB microphones, which in this case you can use like a Yeti, you can use some store brand microphone. In this case, I got one from Walmart um, that just has a bunch of numbers in it. Go ahead and go to the mic. And what you want to do is obviously try and capture it. So in this case, my device would be the microphone 9002. Go ahead and go ahead and put that device down again. There's multiple. I got one that's part of the, from the webcam. I got one that's from the actual computer, the Elgato itself, which is not a good idea. And then obviously the default um, out voice microphone. And you work with work with that, and then. You can go ahead and go to your mixer and actually start moving and changing the audio and the voice of both not just your microphone but also your output in this case me the pc audio since that's what i typed it as and i will give you a real quick tip do not and i absolutely say this do not mess around with audio monitoring and if it's make sure it's on monitor off if it's on or mute output or just monitor and output you're basically going to make it where it'll echo it'll sound bad and to the point where it can actually break the computer and crash yeah now we can go and move on to the last option that we can do and this one is just by this is just by choice but if you want to elevate your stream and make it pop out you've probably seen other streamers and you're like hey they got animated gifs they got many games they got all these they got a fancy wine glass where people can do things to it how do i get that let me show you so within the dashboard and all that again you go ahead and go to where essentials is and go to either alert box or all widgets now the widgets and just in short terms this is what will give you the stuff now obviously click now when you click on it we could get out of the way. when you click on it you can actually include if not remove certain um, widget or you can remove and edit um, certain effects that comes with that widget and once you're done make sure you save it and you can move on with whatever it is you want to work on later now alert box if you want to get gifts that are animated we can do it with this so for this example we're going to go ahead and do follows 
Now, depending on the platform you're on, you can get different varieties of alerts you can use. We, like for me, for Twitch, we can do followers, subscribers, donations, hosts, bits, raids, and etc. etc. So in this case, let's only, let's only focus on follows. For follows, again, everything is just um, default. You can change it. You can monitor it. They don't really do anything bad, but these are the main settings you want to look for. For follow alerts, make sure you have that sucker enabled, because if you have it disabled, then honestly, it, it won't work. It'll just make it where it'll be invisible. Like, you won't be able to hear it. The next one is make sure the custom HTML slash CSS is disabled. It basically just brings a lot of problems and you have to do extra coding. That's the best way I can describe it, so I recommend disabling it. Now for variations, um, that's just if you want, that's just if, if you want to like flat out change it, make it like a variety, leave that blank, don't do anything with that. And then font settings, it's just the same thing like if you want to change the GIF, change the sound, or even just the animation of everything itself. What you do with that, save, and then now, finally, we can move on to the best part about this whole streaming experience. Go to source and go and click the plus. This time, either you can click on um, whatever the widget is, like for earlier, we can do the event list, but for this example, we're going to click alert box. These two right here will give you, these are the widgets. So, little brief reminder, these are the widgets. And if you want to know what they do, they, the support tab will be right here in the very bottom. Now, here we go, alert boxes. This will be your, this is what you're going to be wanting to try and do. As soon as you get it, obviously you can change the name if you want. What you want to do with it, all right? And for this one, let's actually go to my streaming tab. In this case, let's do. Mm, what happens if we stream a normal game? Ta-da! Hello, it's me. All right. So, say I'm streaming. I'm playing a game. I don't know, racing. I'm, I'm breaking something. Whatever. This is what we're gonna do. So, make your way down and. Once you add your alert box, um, you'll see the icon with the little bell on it. When you go and monitor it, you can actually do some of the same settings, but this is what you want to look at. Look on the far left side. All this right here is your basically check marks. Whatever you check will actually be what you're going to be presenting. What the follow alert will act, or what the alerts will actually show up. So in this case for me, I, the only ones I have enabled would be obviously follows, hosts, rates, and then subscribers. So in this case, since we already got the follow and all that, it's hooked up, we can go ahead and, well, we can go ahead and make our follow. So, if we go down here, test widgets, let's click follow and see what happens. Thank you, that Hippo Kid, for that amazing sexy follow. And with that, we got everything we need. We have our Elgato. We have our second option, which is to stream PC games, being primary and secondary monitors with audio. Speaking of which, we also got our microphone and our PC audio. And we forget, and I even, and we even got to figure out how we can make it where it doesn't like echo, reverb, make it where the audio is just straight trash. We figured out how to make our webcam and fix it. And then finally, we figured out how to add the alerts and widgets. With that, thank you guys for watching so much. I'm hoping this guide helps. Again, if you have any further questions, let me know in the comment section below. Sorry if some of the recording was a bit scuffed. I had to try and rush it. So far, it didn't crash. That's good. And again, if you wanted me to make more tutorial videos like this, let me know and I could try my best to make it. I'll, again, I'll heart the comment, I'll pin it, anything like that. And as always, have a good day, have a good night. And I hope you enjoy streaming over on Streamlabs and also down in the description go to my Twitch channel hit the follow button with those alerts and stuff you'll be featured on there too that'll be really cool and I guess also while you're down there hit the like button hit the like button and just okay I'm not doing that hit the like button hit the subscribe button do whatever I don't care hippo out <laughs>